Hi. Um, good to see you again. Look, here's the, in this one, we'll be looking at chapter 12 of good strategy, back, bad strategy. And, and the idea is, is, is the idea of using your, your advantage. And, and this refers to a competitive advantage. Now remember, a competitive advantage is something that uh, differentiates you. And it's, and it's, it's usually try to break it down quite simply is that you are either able to produce at a lower cost you're getting, you're adding, or adding more uh, consumer value. You're doing something that's that's uh, <clears throat> more attractive and more appealing to your customers, or you're doing that thing at a lower cost, where you can benefit from that and, and charge that. If you have the exact same thing, for example, but yours is a little bit less costly, you'll do well. If you have a product that's much better and and and, and, and satisfies more customer needs, that's your competitive advantage broken down obviously there's a, there are a lot of details behind that and location and uh, and all sorts of different things your your cost of funds could be or or your factory or, or your your the newness of your equipment many other things go into those that may create the competitive advantage At the end of the day what you're creating is either a lower cost or or uh, uh, something that the customer wants more than he wants it from your competitors the other day idea is sustainability you will see, in fact, I usually always include in my uh, strategic plans these two concepts of competitive advantage and sustainable uh, advantage or sustainable profit, sustainable over time. The idea is that when you're a manager or when you're appealing to a manager as a consultant or strategist, what they really want is a sustainable flow of revenue or profitability or sale, whatever, they like, whatever they're looking at, because they, it's difficult to manage when you're going up and down all the time. And also, you need that core business to go forward so you can do other things and add to it. So you really, you, what the idea is, uh, is in your strategy, often it's very appealing to come up with, how do we make this last? How do we keep it going? And you will see, we've talked about this in the past, and we will again, it's difficult to make things last. It's uh, that the concepts of, um, entropy and just winding down apply to business as well so you have to, it's hard but sustainability um, comes from the maintenance of that competitive advantage which comes from as the book says uh, something that you're uh, you're you're doing something that other people can't copy and just take from you which otherwise they would or you have a what he calls it what dr. Rumel calls an isolation factor something that is very difficult to uh, obtain produce or replicate like an iPhone uh, there are other things out there, but can they really do everything? Do they link with all your other Apple products? Do they do certain things. They, the, the basic technology, not basic by any means, but the technology is available and other companies have it. Microsoft comes out with phones, Google, it just doesn't work because they don't have all, all those things. And those are isolation factors. If you were to study that element, you know, I know a lot of you thought the five forces applied to an Apple. It, it, they, it doesn't, by the way, you can see that on your test. But the other things like this, the isolating mechanism, that's the kind of concept that really does apply to a company like Apple and is a useful tool for strategists to explain how they continue to sustain their market share, etc. Now, remember, when you are uh, creating value, uh, this comes from uh, some specific uh, things. You want to deepen your advantage. You want to continue to work that advantage and make it expand it even more, uh, broaden the extent, apply it to more elements of your business. The key is understand what your competitive advantage is and then really work it. Make it bigger. Make it last longer. You know, expand it into other areas uh, and create, you know, of course, a high demand for your products. And, and when, if you do find that isolation um, mechanism, isolating mechanism, understand it and and work it these are your key things uh, as a strategist as a business leader find out what makes you different if it really works keep it going and then work it make sure you do it better and better all the time because if you don't then you'll lose that competitive advantage and you'll be back to square one other people will be jumping into your space and you'll be able you'll have to kind of uh, recreate something new which is going to happen often anyway because it's difficult to maintain that but you want to maintain this as long as possible but through a thorough understanding of, of what it is that you've got that's working better than other companies. All right, thank you.